Hello from Olden Goldens and welcome back to our channel. Recently we have received the somber news of the passing of some extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. We will also recap the stars we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Naomi Pomeroy, an influential chef and culinary innovator, tragically passed away at the age of 49 on July 15 in an accident on the Willamette River near Corvallis. Known for her participation in Top Chef Masters and her James Beard Award for Best Chef Pacific Northwest in 2014, Naomi's contributions to the culinary world were profound and widely celebrated. Naomi's culinary journey was marked by her ambitious and pioneering spirit. Culinary journey was marked by her ambitious and pioneering spirit. In September 2007, she co-opened Beast in Portland, a restaurant that quickly became a landmark on the culinary map due to its unique approach to cuisine and dining. Beast was not just a restaurant, it was a statement of Naomi's culinary philosophy, meticulous, bold, and unapologetically original. Her work at Beast earned her recognition as one of Food Wine Magazine's 10 Best New Chefs in America in 2009, a testament to her innovative approach and dedication to the craft. After Beast closed around the pandemic, Naomi continued to influence the culinary scene through Expatriate, a bar she started with her husband, Kyle Linden Webster. The establishment was a reflection of her vibrant and creative style, blending exquisite culinary creations with a unique ambience. Her ability to create spaces that provided not just food, but an experience, set her apart in the food industry. Provided not just food, but an experience set her apart in the food industry. Her tragic death has left a void in the culinary community, both in Portland and beyond. Naomi was more than a chef. She was a visionary who transformed how people perceive and experience food. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to inspire those around her have left an indelible mark on the world. As the culinary community mourns her loss, Naomi Pomeroy's legacy as a chef and an innovator will undoubtedly endure, continuing to inspire future generations of chefs and food enthusiasts. Her passion for culinary arts and her commitment to excellence have carved a permanent niche in the annals of culinary history. Shannon Doherty, a trailblazer in television drama, passed away at the age of 53 on July 13th after a courageous battle with cancer. Doherty, renowned for her roles in defining series like Beverly Hills 90210 Charmed, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born in Memphis, Tennessee on April 12, 1971, Doherty's vibrant career began in childhood, blossoming with her role as Jenny Wilder on Little House on the Prairie. Her talent truly captured the public's imagination with her portrayal of Heather Duke in Heathers, a cult classic that remains influential. However, it was her role as Brenda Walsh in Beverly Hills 90210 that catapulted her to international fame. Doherty's portrayal of Walsh resonated with an entire generation, blending earnestness with complexity in a character that faced life's trials with strength and vulnerability. Her career was also marked by her role as Prue Halliwell in Charmed, where she not only acted but also directed several episodes, showcasing her versatility and passion for storytelling. Beyond the screen, Doherty's impact was profound, involving her in various projects that highlighted her dynamic capabilities and interests, including reality TV and advocacy for cancer awareness. Doherty's personal life was as public and tumultuous as her characters on screen dramas, often mirrored by her own struggles and triumphs. Despite facing significant health challenges, including a prolonged battle with breast cancer, her resilience and openness about her journey brought inspiration to many facing similar battles. As we remember Shannon Doherty, we reflect not only on her remarkable contributions to television and film, but also on her spirit and determination. 
Her legacy is not just in the roles she played, but in the courage she displayed in her most challenging times, serving as a beacon of hope and strength to her fans and loved ones. Doverty's light continues to shine in the memories she leaves behind and the impact of her work that will continue to entertain and inspire future generations. Jane Sicking, a stalwart of American television and film, passed away from complications of dementia at his Los Angeles home on July 13, at the age of 90. Lieutenant Howard Hunter in the seminal 1980 series Hill Street Blues, Sicking's nuanced performance brought depth and complexity to the role, earning him critical acclaim and an Emmy nomination in 1984. Born in Los Angeles on March 5, 1934, Sicking's journey into acting was preceded by a stint in the United States Army during the Korean War, an experience that profoundly influenced his approach to his iconic role on Hill Street Blues. He drew inspiration from a drill sergeant at Fort Bragg, infusing his character with a realism that resonated with viewers and critics alike. Sicking's acting career was rich and varied. Before his breakthrough, he appeared on the ABC soap opera General Hospital as Jim Hobart, an alcoholic surgeon, from 1971 to 1976. His versatility saw him in roles ranging from the fatherly figure in Doogie Howser to the authoritative Captain Stan Jonas in Brooklyn South, a role that won him a People's Choice Award in 1998. His film career was equally distinguished, featuring in works such as The Competition, Outland, Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, and Narrow Margin. Sicking's dedication to his craft extended beyond the screen. He was a passionate advocate for several charitable causes, including cystic fibrosis research and the Susan Komen Foundation. For 19 years, he volunteered with the Screen Actors Guild Book Pals program, reading to public school third graders and earning the affectionate nickname, Jim the Reader. Sicking's contribution to the entertainment industry was profound, leaving a legacy of memorable performances that highlighted his exceptional range and depth as an actor. His dedication to philanthropy and community service further cemented his status, not only as a talented actor, but as a genuinely compassionate and giving individual. James Sicking's memory will live on, cherished by his family, friends, and the countless fans who admired his work. A nuke AME, an emblem of French cinema, and a revered actress of international acclaim, passed away at her Paris home at the age of 92. Her extensive career, marked by a blend of dramatic depth and ethereal presence, spanned over seven decades, earning her a permanent place in the pantheon of film icons. Born as Françoise Dreyfus in Paris, Amy entered the world of acting as a teenager, swiftly rising to fame with her captivating performances in seminal films. She became a muse for directors like Federico Fellini and Jacques Demi, starring in classics such as La Dulcita and Lola. Her portrayal of complex characters showcased her ability to convey deep emotional narratives, earning her critical accolades, including a BAFTA Award for Best Actress and a Golden Globe. Her role in A Man and a Woman not only won her an Academy Award nomination, but also redefined romantic cinema, imbuing it with a modern sensibility that resonated globally. Amy's allure was not confined to her talent on screen. Her striking beauty and sophisticated style made her a fashion icon, synonymous with timeless elegance. She carried an aura of mystery and grace that was both captivating and inspiring, leading to her being named one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history by Empire Magazine. Beyond her cinematic achievements, Amy was deeply committed to her craft, continually seeking roles that challenged perceptions and pushed artistic boundaries. Her work extended into the international film scene, where she contributed to projects in Italy, Germany, and the United States, thus cementing her status as a global film star. Anouk Aimi's legacy is one of artistic integrity and perpetual charm. Her performances continue to influence and inspire both audiences and filmmakers. As she gracefully portrayed characters that ranged from the tragic to the triumphant, Amy left an indelible mark on cinema that will endure, 
a testament to her talent and her unique ability to capture the complexities of the human spirit. Breaking news. Chuck Norris, the indomitable force of martial arts and action cinema, has just celebrated his 84th birthday. Yet he claims to feel like I'm 48. The legendary actor and martial artist, known for his roles in iconic films and the TV series Walker, Texas Ranger, shared a video on Instagram showcasing his still impressive boxing skills, much to the delight of his fans. In the video, Norris, a black belt in judo and jiu-jitsu, punches and weaves with the agility of a man half his age, accompanied by a caption that reads, feeling good and staying active. His enduring fitness is a testament to his lifelong dedication to martial arts and physical training. Norris first entered Hollywood as a celebrity fight trainer before debuting in the 1969 film The Wrecking Crew. His career soared through the 70s and 80s with hits like Missing in Action and The Delta Force. Though his last major film role was in 2012's The Expendables 2, Norris teased fans with news of his return to the big screen in the upcoming film Agent Recon, where he will portray Captain Alistair. At 84, Chuck Norris continues to inspire with his vitality and commitment to fitness, proving age is just a number for this enduring action hero.